Hi, this is Cooper Salmo here, and I'm just showing off my ship that I built. It's uh, the Santa Maria, and it took a long time to make it. This is how it started out. I got it on a hobby store online. I think it was called Tower Hobbies. Um, it was pretty. It was about $250. That's with the kit. It came with all the tools you needed. And as you can see, it's a lot of detail. Um, I think it took about a year and a half. Maybe I'd average out about an hour a day. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, detail going into this. And I did a lot of extra stuff too. I'll go over that. That wasn't um, supposed to be done in the kit. Some really cool uh, fine detail that went into this. Um, as you can see. It's a lot of work. That's the plans right there. I'll get back to the ship here. And I'm going to talk talk about some tricks and stuff to do to make your ship a little bit cooler, better than what the kit requires. Using coffee um, to tint the sails with that coffee brown. Um, you can see how it, it colored it and made it look like it's worn instead of just white. Um, some other stuff I did over here is I added uh, cannons over here. I got them off eBay. And uh, when you lift the cannons up, the two little cannons I put, I think these were from like the 50s or something. They were definitely antique. Um, you lift that up, and I did this myself. And you, I'll try to show you here. There's a switch right there that I inserted batteries. And a little touchy because it, it's been sitting for a while. There's dust on it too, but... Uh, I put LED lights um, in it throughout the ship. And put a green one in there, just under the deck. And this comes with the ship, the bow, and all the other stuff. But this is, I went out of my way to go do this. And this did not go with the ship. You were not supposed to do this, but you lift it up and I put some hinges on there. And some detail going on in here. And this is the really cool part where you got, if you could see it clearly, that's a treasure chest right there. And uh, there's a desk and a table, compass. I smashed um, a paper clip and made a sword. And I wrapped some string on it over there. There's a Bible in the corner. I don't know if you could see it. Um, over here I got a bed and another book sitting on the bed with actual cushion. Everything is highly realistic in here. Um, if you can get a good view in there. I even got pictures and picture frames on the wall. If you could see them right there. That's, I put uh, Queen Elizabeth. And uh, over there is a picture of Mary, I think it was. Mother of Jesus. And up against the wall there, there's a rifle. It's hard to see it. But a lot of detail in there. And all I did is use toothpicks right here. You could probably see them. And I glued them in. Used them. You know, mounted them in just as a hinge and it closes. But just something a little extra you could do to your ship. And then I got these chains over here um, that didn't come with it either. Instead of just using, I think they wanted you just to use rope, but I thought it would look a lot cooler on the sail. And this was also added on there. And it's pretty cool because it was just supposed to be a closed off cabin. You got that going on in there. <clears throat> and then also the chains for the anchor. But it took a really long time. I hope you think it's pretty cool. Maybe you could put some extra detail on yours if you build a model ship. And I put a quarter over there just to see, so you see the size of, of the ship. I'll put you at the quarter right there. And it's, it's pretty big. It's awesome. I think it's museum quality. I really made it perfect. And there probably isn't any flaws on it. I took my time. And, uh, you know, just showing it off. That's a thunderstorm in the ocean. <laughs> no, it's me stepping on a bag. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. There was one more thing I wanted to talk about with you, and um, they don't tell you this when you're building a model ship. And I was like really stumped. It took me many hours to uh, figure this out. But if you have any um, curve curves like this on your ship where they tell you to put a piece of wood, and they give you this piece of wood where it's straight, and I had four of them here, 
and they don't tell you how to get that shape so you're just like trying to figure this out and if you bend your wood obviously it's going to crack but it's called steam bending um and i looked I, I figured this out on my own but if you take the piece of wood that they give you and lay it in a plate with some water and what i did is microwave it um maybe two or three minutes if you want you could do four or five minutes it doesn't matter and i'm just giving you an example here and what i did was um, if you try to bend it by itself, you're going to crack it every time, and it'll drive you nuts. But uh, to save you some time from your research or even just sit, telling you how to do it, so uh, you microwave it in some water, and it's called steam bending. And when the when the water gets so hot, you could take the piece of wood, you could probably, probably have to f figure it out and wear some gloves or something, and get a, like a, a hard surface bottle. You see this round shape, and you'd figure out what, what shape matched this... Um, the bottle so you get whatever you're gonna use and um, after it comes out when it's really hot you would bend it right around it and tape it until it dries and maybe five six seven hours later when it dries it'll have that curve on it and then you'll be able to just glue your piece in um, so yeah that's how I got that shape or you'll be going nuts trying to figure it out um, I got some more light in here, so I'll show off the, the detail that you couldn't see earlier, but you could see the rifle over there, and uh, I think that's some rope just tied up. There's the table. There's a telescope on the table also. Um, let me try to just get in here. A lot of detail in there, but it's, I know it's hard to see it. Oh, so I'll get in the way. Let's see what's going on on this wall. Just, just you know, really cool the chair and everything. All that was made myself. I used the two-tone, like uh, clear wood, and then also the dark wood that came with the kit. And another thing that I did that the kit didn't require um, was using urethane to give it a high gloss. I don't know if you could see the shiny gloss. I'm trying to get it in there. So, uh, yep, that's about it. So, hopefully those tips help you out and. Um, so when you build your ship, it'll help you out. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.